This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. The Zany ESPN Classic Series Cheap Seats 2004 to 2006 perhaps most interestingly illustrates ESPN's use of and control over its archived footage. The program was hosted by the twin brother comic duo Jason and Randy Sklar, who play smart-ass librarians who forego ESPN talent's typical formal wear in favor of t-shirts, baggy jeans, and sneakers. The Sklars, in fact, host Cheap Seats only because its original feature talent, Ron Parker, played by comedian Michael Showalter, was injured by an avalanche of old tapes, a slapstick mishap that gestures towards the archives in Normandy. As the program's opening voiceover, delivered by Dan Patrick, announces, Deep in the ESPN tape library, the worldwide leader in classic sports launched a series designed to take a new look at old games. They called it Cheap Seats with Ron Parker. Parker, an anchor with attitude, was helped thanklessly by two librarians, Randy and Jason. The show was slated to go all the way, but moments into the first show, tragedy struck. With Ron on the DL, disabled list, somebody needed to step up. Like Lou Gehrig for Wally Pipp, or Tom Brady for Drew Bledsoe. Sitting two and three on the hosting depth chart, that someone was Randy and Jason. That is their story, and this is Cheap Seats, without Ron Parker. The program's title then emerges on a graphic that resembles the labeling tape libraries use to mark their holdings. Evoking a combination of the cult classics Mystery Science Theater 3000 and Beavis and Butthead, the Scholars lounge on a couch in the tape library and poke fun at archived sports footage that now seems preposterous, such as Steve Garvey's Celebrity Fishing Tournament, the World Putt-Putt Championships, and the World's Strongest Man competition. They describe the World Series of Poker, for instance, as combining the speed and excitement of nursing home shuffleboard with the ability and hand-eye coordination of sleeping. They also include sketches that lampoon the featured events, often with the help of then-fledgling indie comics like Aziz Ansari, David Cross, Zach Galifianakis, and Patton Oswalt. Like many of Nick at Night's self-consciously campy presentations of retro material, Cheap Seats cultivated an ironic viewership that simultaneously commemorates and mocks sports TV's past. Similar to classic Wide World, Cheap Seats provides a highly selective rendering of subject matter that enhances and contextualizes it. While classic Wide World's various add-ons call attention to material's importance, Cheap Seats points out their absurdity. The scholars fast-forward through sections they deem unbearably tedious and include a reoccurring segment titled, Do You Care?, that shares obscure factoids about the footage's decidedly marginal featured events and participants. The implied answer to the question the Do You Care segments pose is an emphatically snarky, No.